What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor, DVDJ, and use code your boy Bugs for 10% off at checkout. And yeah, man, check them out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today... We are going to go over the market as per usual. So I think I found out my new strategy. So yeah, um, before we get into it, man, please make sure to drop the like, drop the sub, all that good stuff. Let's get 120 likes in this video for some MT giveaways. And guys, uh, before we get into it, we're going to run this ad. And If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. Yeah, so I think I found my new strategy. I think I'm going to post an early day market video. And then when I come home from work, post one to two extra videos on what's going on with pretty much everything in the game, possibly a locker code. But yeah, maybe market talk as well as two times a day. But we shall see. But yeah, right now, if you guys do not know, we do have the Kareem stuff live. And like I said, man, March Madness is coming. And honestly, there's a lot to think about. Personally, I, me, myself, and I, I'm selling everybody. Um, I think a big market crash is coming with the March Madness. I honestly can't stand these opals on my team. Like, I honestly get beat by Amethyst team sometimes. And I feel like having these opals that are worth 200,000 MT plus isn't worth it. Especially when we're going to see new March Madness content. So, my opinion... I will be selling everybody besides probably Giannis and my prime set. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing. I think LeBron's going to get ditched. I think everybody's going to get ditched because, you know, March Madness is around the corner. And honestly, that's what I'm doing. So LeBron's getting gone. Giannis is staying. Uh, if you have Galaxy with Curry, I would recommend selling. If you have any high overall cards, recommend selling because right now, the market is stupid high, and you need to take advantage. That's all I'm going to say. Um, March Madness is 110% going to crash the market. Like, if it doesn't, I don't even know what the hell to do anymore. All I know is that everybody in my collection is going besides my point guard, Giannis. And, yeah. And also, buzzer beater packs are looking bi-weekly. So, that's another W. I honestly feel like running with a budget squad for a while. I'm not going to lie. Before we do get into some market talk... Let's get a pack. Like, if I get Opal Kareem, which I need, bro. I need him on my team. I will end up getting him. Ah, wow. These packs got it. They always got to treat me like shit. Uh, at least we got someone in their collection. So, yeah. Selling my whole team. Selling the Zion. So, let's go over the market. Let's talk about Mr. Zion Williamson first. Because, I, as you guys know, his price goes up and down like crazy. So, looks like he's back at 100,000 MT. Honestly, in March Madness, bro. If we don't see a Zion, I don't even know because Zion is so loved. Um, everybody else, man, if you guys got Bosch for around 60k the other day, he's rocking around 100. So whoever did listen to me and pick him up made a ton of MT. Like if you picked up 10 of them for 600,000 MT, you're so loaded, bro. Birds at 97. I got two for 75, one for 74, one for 79. I dubbed out on Bird. That's why my MT's up. And like I said, man, if you want to sell any cards, go ahead and sell them now. Right now, it's 6 uh, 14. It is, uh, what's it called? I can't even speak. This is pre-recorded, so I'm just telling you now. Some of these prices aren't going to be as accurate. All I really know is that with the new content constantly dropping and the locker code dropping and all that good stuff, it looks like cards are starting to go up in value considering the fact that these new locker codes that they dropped kind of did destroy the market and also the new opal uh kernelenko and Giannis. since everybody ended up selling their cards thursday night it kind of destroyed the market thursday night and then friday came everyone had their team sold everyone popped packs and there was like no money flow in the market that's why it did go up so much so that is one reason why i did not crash now if they do drop a trailer for march madness since it's march madness is a lot bigger than flashbacks like Flashbacks are big when the first ovals drop, right? So now it's standard. Flashbacks are standard now. Like a lot of people know what comes in flashbacks. So now they're really not going to be that big. Like market crashes won't really happen. 
But when new promos come out, like for instance, the Leap Year and the March Madness, that is going to tank the market like crazy. So yeah, there's going to be a, mar a market crash probably Thursday or Wednesday, whenever they do drop a trailer. But just know when they drop that big of a promo, the market crash is hard. If they drop four cards, it's not really that big of a market crash because four cards, not a lot of people are going to want those four cards that bad. So I'm just saying market didn't crash for that reason. So now I put together that method and it honestly makes a lot of sense. So like if you guys do understand, I mean, you should. Like, I don't know what else to say. You know what I'm saying? Um, it makes a lot of sense to me. And I'm just wondering where the hell is my are there he is. So this is what we got up for sale, man. I still have my Giannis. I still have my KDs. Honestly, if you want to sell Durant, it's up to you. It's kind of risky in my opinion. A lot of the Prime cards are a little risky to sell. But then again, man, he's rocking around 420k with 20 minutes left. I don't know. It's completely up to you. All I know is that Giannis glitch keeps dropping and it makes me think, is there another point guard coming? And honestly, in my opinion, LeBron for 400k. Honestly, I love this card. He cannot stay at 400k for that much longer. He can't. And when they drop, like, they drop uh, flash packs, whatever, the other day. So his price did drop, and then it rose right away. So whoever got him for around 200k should definitely sell right now. Pretty much any card you got for 200k is so worth the sell. With Giannis only going for like 300 something, nah, he's going to go for like 500 something for a while, 500, 600 something for a while. Definitely keep him. I, I should have sold him at a mill and bought him back. But, like, honestly, what are you going to do? Anything that also, if you guys have Kareem, please sell him. Every time new content comes out, they always end up dropping in value. Just don't fall into the trap. This card is not worth 600k. I bet you Bam Abadayo could lock this clown up. No, I'm joking. But still, he probably can't. I'm getting this Kareem eventually. But is he worth it right now for the price? No. Just know when a new card comes out, if you really want him, you have the MT, whatever. Don't buy him. I only didn't sell my Giannis because I did pull him. Like, I pulled him in my, like, 12 pack. So, I am lucky indeed. I honestly did not buy him. I could have sold him and made about a 900000 to a mil MT, but I kept him instead. Um, like I said, man, just continue to sell cards. Continue to listen to my methods. And also, bro, if the market does crash, which I think it will, um... The Amethyst Filter has been absolutely amazing. I've been making so much MT of the Amethyst Filter and the Diamond Filter. Like, I don't know what's going on, but as of late, it's been insane. Not only that, bro, Amethyst Shack pops up so often because of the locker code. And you could literally you could literally make MT off him in seconds. So, definitely recommend trying to get the Ami Shack off of Snipe. The Amethyst Filter, the Diamond Filter has been really, really good as well. And with the new Tony Ku coach, if you want, I would hop on his filter because every time there is a new diamond, that, yo, at also all those diamond diamond Mitchells that you guys probably got for like two to three K a couple weeks ago went up a lot. A Giannis that you guys invested in went up a lot. And let me think also a lot of like the new wave I've noticed, like, you know how the big Z was like 40 K, whatever. I actually missed a ton of them for like really cheap. Like the new wave is now. If new player, like OP players, like let's just say people have like AD and Galaxy over Wade. Um, if they get a diamond, bro, they don't really care. They just chuck them up. So like Tony Kukoc Diamond, since he's actually really good in the game though, and he's a really good bunch of baller, I would recommend staying on the snipe filter. That's like the really good way to make MT in my, like right here. I'm going to miss it though. Like, oh my God, bro. So right there, 10K Tony Kukoc. That is exactly what I'm saying. If you sit on the new player's filters, you're going to get a snipe. Like, that is my number one method. I just missed out on what, like 7K? Like, that is such a L. And I can't stand because I am recording through my OBS studio. It's a lot slower. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, bro. Like, bro. All right. So, as you can see, bro, stick on this snipe filter. Make that MT. Like, that's all I'm going to say. This happens to every time a new diamond drops. This is what happens to me. So, definitely stick around the snipe filter and make a ton of MT because it's that easy. I just had two pop up, two snipes in one minute. That's simple. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this did really help you out. And honestly, I didn't know he was going for this much. He's going for over 20,000 MT, and I just missed one for 5K and 10K. Just missed out on 30K. I just missed out on 30K in one minute. So, 
I'm actually really pissed off about that. Just one of the slowest snipers in the world, I guess. Yeah, man. Check out this night builder. Hope you guys did enjoy, man. Really. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please drop the sub. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one, guys. Peace.